Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, boy. Is everything okay? Things have been amazing recently. Oh, yeah. It's just that you've disappeared for two months. Where the hell did you go? Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, forgive me, my friend. It seems like I was too immersed in the love. Love? What are you talking about? You broke up with Amy two months ago, didn't you? And you suffered greatly for doing so, I think. Yeah, I did. But what will be, will be. It's time to get over it and move on with a new relationship. But with whom? Do I know her? Actually, you met her before. Do you remember the gorgeous girl at the pool party one month ago? Pool party? Ah, oh, the one with blonde hair and a cheerful smile? Bingo. She's my girlfriend now. But how? I remember that she talked to you, but you ignored her. Yeah, because at that time, I'd not overcome the sadness after the breakup. But after the party, I met her again in the parking lot. Her car had a broken tire, so she asked me to give her a lift home. Ah, I had to leave earlier, so I didn't know about it. Yeah, since everyone had already left, I had to drive her home. On the way, we confided many things. I realized we have a lot in common, and I feel comfortable around her. Then we exchanged phone numbers and hung out a few times. We dated for about one month, and it was absolutely wonderful. Hmm, it sounds very romantic. Yeah, I know, right? I think she's the one. Thanks for insisting on making me come to that party. Otherwise, I would not have met the love of my life. You're going to marry her? Are you sure? It's too early to make a decision. I think you'll have to think more carefully about it. No, Greg. I've never felt like this with any of my ex-girlfriends. This weekend, I will bring her to my parents' home. They'll definitely like her. Ah, you'll have to come join it too. You're our matchmaker. <laughs> I don't know if I should come. Oh, come on. You have to be there. You're my friend from childhood, and you're like my brother too. Well, yeah, if you insist. Oh, great. See you there. Now I have to go shopping with my girl. Talk to you later. Okay, see you later. Hello, Greg. It's me, Diana. Patrick's girlfriend here? I got your phone number from Patrick. Oh, hi, Diana. Do you need anything from me? Actually, yes. I need you to stay away from Patrick. What are you talking about? I don't get your point. Oh, come on. We all know what I'm talking about. I saw your eyes on Patrick yesterday. That is not the look one should have when looking at a friend, but rather a lover. What? Are you insane? He's just my friend. I have no different feelings for him. Oh, really? So can you explain why Patrick told me that he has never seen you date a girl? I... I just don't want to date right now. I want to stabilize my career before getting married. You don't want to date right now. Or can't date like a normal person? Never second guess women's intuition. Nothing can be hidden from my eyes. Hey, Diana, are you awake now? I really don't understand what you've said until now. Oh, come on. Don't make me say it outright. You like Patrick. You're gay. Huh? Diana, I don't understand. What did I do to make you so misunderstood? Isn't it too obvious? All last night, you were just trying to touch Patrick. When he gave you the salad plate, you deliberately touched his hand, and I saw you smiling. I was just not paying attention at that time. And Patrick's dad told me a joke, which I found interesting, so I smiled. That's all. Oh, you don't have to deny it. I hired a hacker to hack into your Facebook account and saw a lot of your interesting messages with other guys. 
Oh, look, there are even pictures of you going to a gay bar. You looked so happy. How can you do that? That's illegal. That violates my privacy rights. Oh, don't be that serious. I was just trying to protect the love of my life from disgusting risks. Don't insult me like that. I told you I don't love Patrick. We're just friends. Nothing more and nothing less. Huh? It seems like Patrick and his family know nothing about you, right? His parents even asked when you would bring your girlfriend to say hi to them yesterday. You, what do you want to do? Oh, nothing much. I'm just curious if they know you're gay. Will they change their attitude towards you? Will they still treat you close and welcome you like family? Or will they reject you because you've lied to them for so long, looking at you like a freak? Ugh, oh, the curiosity is killing me. Should I tell them to know the answer? No, please don't. I don't want they to know about it. Please. Huh, that's right. This is the attitude you should have towards me. I'm sorry if I did anything to make you unpleasant. Please, just delete all those images of me. I will do everything in exchange for them. Whoa, you know how to make a deal, right? Well, the problem is Patrick's mother didn't seem to like me very much. She's been talking all day about how important it is to love someone with a suitable alliance. She was just a crazy old lady, right? Didn't she realize on her own that I would never have dated her stupid child if it weren't for that massive fortune? Wait, are you saying you just dated Patrick for money? I thought you said you love him. Oh yeah, honey. I love him. When he pays my bills. If it weren't for the money, I would have given Patrick to you. Diana, one more time. I don't love Patrick. Yeah, whatever you want. Anyway, it's strange that she seems to trust you. So your first duty is to make her like me by all methods. Agree to let me marry Patrick so that I can enjoy that huge fortune ASAP. Do you know how tiring it is to pretend to be the dream girl of that idiot? Don't go overboard, Diana. You're insulting my family. Huh, your family? You're so naive, my dear. They only treat you well when they think you're normal. But when you're gay? Well, I'm not so sure about that anymore. No, please. I can do anything you want, but please don't hurt them. Oh, don't think so bad of me. I won't harm them. Just think, if Patrick and I got married, everyone would be happy. I will get that money, and Patrick will be extremely happy because he will marry the girl he loves most. Ah. Don't worry about his parents. I promise I will take care of them carefully. Very, very dedicated. But how can I trust you? Stop worrying about them. Take care of yourself first. Don't forget your place. I'm the only one here who gives orders and your job is to follow, not raise your voice to question me like this. I, I understand. I will find a way to pursue Patrick's mom. Yes, good boy. You should have done that earlier. Oh my god! How did you manage that? That old lady just called me and invited me to their family dinner. Her tone totally changed, and she even called me, Daughter, you're really helpful. I just bought her a dress and said it was your gift. Then I complimented you in front of her, that you have your own career and are very resourceful and sincere. Is that all? So what's so difficult about it? Do you know when parents feel about their child's lover? Ugh! Go straight to the point! They just want their child to be happy, that's all. I told her how since you appeared, Patrick has changed to be cheerful and happy and she agreed to let you two date. It won't be difficult for you anymore. So if you want her to accept you as a daughter-in-law, you better be nice to Patrick. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I will make Patrick become the happiest man in the world. Yes, I hope that too. So now our deal is done. Can you delete all my pictures and messages? 
Oh, don't be in such a hurry. We're not done here yet. That's only the first mission. I have a lot of things I want you to do. What? But you didn't say anything about me having to follow many orders. I also didn't say you just need to complete one mission. You are very cunning, Diana. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. I have a date with my lover this weekend, and Patrick insists that I go camping with him. And I don't want to go to that filthy place full of mud. I just said I like to go camping just to make him think we have something in common. So I need you to ask him to go somewhere so I can spend time with my lover. Um, I'm very confused, Diana. Isn't Patrick your lover? So why are you asking me to go out with Patrick so you can go on a date with your lover? I do not understand. No, <laughs> Patrick isn't my lover. He just... He's my ATM. Besides, I'm giving you a chance to be alone with Patrick, right? Ugh, I'm too kind. You cheat on him? How can you do that? He treats you very well. Don't you feel guilty? Come on, don't talk like I'm indebted to him. This is just a win-win relationship. I give him the love he has been dreaming of, and he gives me his money. That's all. Aren't you afraid I'll talk to Patrick about this? Hey, you know what secret I'm keeping from you. You should know which is more important, right? You're a wise man. I guess you already know the answer. But how can I pretend to know nothing and let my friend be deceived? Oh, honey, don't think much about it. I will end up with my lover completely and wholeheartedly taking care of the family property. Oops! I just slid my hand. I'll wholeheartedly take care of the family when Patrick and I marry. Diana, I don't know whether this is right. You have to think carefully. If I spread your secret to your company and Patrick's family, what will they think about you? Will your life still be as peaceful as this? But I can't betray his confidence. This kind of bothers me. Just do as I told you. A disgusting gay guy has no right to speak here. I'm sorry. Yeah, good boy. You chose the right side. I'm sorry, but I can't do this to Patrick. I'll tell him all the bad things you did to him. Hey, what? Greg, what are you going to do? Keep your mouth out of my business. You're such a dog. Hey, Patrick, what are you doing? Do you free to talk for a little bit? Yeah, Greg, I'm listening. Well, I have something that I want to admit to you. Yeah, go ahead. Please, stay calm and listen to me. Yeah, I promise. Oh, come on. What do you want to talk about? You're making me more curious. I... I am gay, Patrick. Sorry for keeping you and your family a secret all this time. I don't have any bad intentions toward you. I'm just afraid that you'll hate me and no longer want to talk with me. Since your family is my only relative in this city, I don't want that to happen. Please, forgive me. If you want, I will never appear again. That's all? Anything else? What? Why do you react in this way? You're supposed to... I'm supposed to shock, get mad, and insult you. Yeah, that's what I imagined. <laughs> Why do I have to react like that when I've known you're gay for so long? I also know that you left early at the pool party the other day because you had a date with some guy. And it's not just me. My whole family knows it. We're waiting for you to admit that yourself. How? How can you know? Since when do you know that? Oh my god, I'm so confused now. Actually, I knew it since we were in high school. I accidentally read your diary and learned 
that you had a crush on the school's basketball team captain. Well, I was shocked at that time too, but I couldn't change the fact that you're my best friend and brother. You're such a jerk. How could you read my diary? <laughs> I didn't mean to. I won't say that because I knew you hid it in the drawer of underwear. But when did your parents know about me? How did they react? They often ask why I don't bring my girlfriend to say hi to them. Nah, my dad just asked you to encourage you to come out. I told them on the day I knew the truth, and they were just like, whoa. Is that all? Didn't they scold me, call me a freak, or forbid you to play with me? Hey, hey, come on, dude. Looks like you've been watching too many dramas. Besides, my family's not backward and conservative. We understand it's simply your sexual orientation, not some kind of disease or alteration in your true nature of being a good person. It's a relief to hear that. Thank you for being patient and always being there. Don't say those guesstimate words. So, do you have anything else to say? Ah, uh, yeah, one more thing, Patrick. About what? About Diana. What's wrong with Diana? I just heard from my mother that you just came over and complimented Diana a lot. Don't you... you like her? Oh no, up yours. It's just, I don't think she's suitable for you. You should think carefully about getting married to her. What happened? Uh, I really don't want to talk about this at all. But as a friend, you would want me to tell you everything I know, right? Yes, what is it? No matter how bad the truth is? Yeah, tell me. Then, Diana told me that she just dated you because of your family's money and that you're an idiot and she didn't think of you as a boyfriend but as an ATM. She even told me to ask you to go out this weekend so she could spend time with her mistress. Are you serious? So why did you praise her just in front of my mother? That's because she found out that I'm gay and threatened me to tell your family about this to make me do her bidding. She said your family would hate me if you knew this truth. So I was scared and followed orders. If you're so scared, why are you confessing this to yourself without following her orders? Because I can't let the people I love most suffer. If she wants to harm someone, it's best to be me. So, what my mom told me is true. Yeah, your mom is always right. Huh? What did your mom tell you? She told me something was wrong with Diana and that I needed to think hard about this relationship. And the fact that you suddenly came to my house to compliment her is also very suspicious. How can she know? Who knows? She just said she felt that way. Indeed, women's intuition can't be underestimated, right? <laughs> that is what surprises me so much. But hey, you make me sad. Because you didn't trust my family. Do you think my family will abandon you because of a girl who we've only known for over a month? But I thought you were madly in love with her. Well, I did. But gradually, I realized that she was not what I imagined. Now that she's touched my family, it's even more unforgivable. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for believing in me. Yeah, don't worry about her. I will solve her. You should block her now. <laughs> okay. What the hell is going on? Why has Patrick broken up with me? Why did he call me a gold digger? 
What did you say to him? I just told the truth. Diana, Patrick and his family know the truth about you already. You should better get away from us. You scoundrel. I'm going to announce that you're gay for the whole world to know, and your life will be so miserable. Feel free to do it. I'm ready to come out already. What? Shouldn't you be begging me? Aren't you afraid they'll leave you? No, Diana, not anymore. I've come out to them already, and they're all very welcoming to me. It's impossible. No one can accept a gay guy like you. You are just someone ugly, detestable, and repulsive. Watch your mouth. You don't have the right to insult me like that. Yeah, you piss me off. Have a little kindness to remind you. Check your Facebook account. You're becoming very popular. What are you talking about? Wait, what's happening here? Nothing much. It's just that Patrick hired someone to write a PR post to help you find the rich and stupid husband you've always wanted. Oh no! Greg, please help me! Tell Patrick to take down that post. I'm so sorry. You have a lot of nerve. I should have listened to Patrick and blocked you early to avoid wasting time with you. Oh please, Greg. Please don't block me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Answer my phone! The post about Diana became extremely popular on social media, with many people cursing her. Turns out, this isn't the first time she's used a trick to make money like this. After learning of this scandal, I heard her company fired her, and for a long time, no one accepted her anymore. After that, she moved to the countryside, and no one heard about her. Patrick, after a while of just burying his head in work, also found a lover. She's a very lovely girl. They've spent a long time in love and are preparing to get married. I am very happy for him. I was able to come out to everyone and stay true to myself. I'm lucky that my family and friends are always there to support me. Now I can start living my own life. <laughs>